Another wonderful day, aspiring entrepreneurs. It's me, Mary Grace. Today's episode will definitely make your warm day cooler. No mga panahon na hindi malakas o mahina ang kanilang fresh milk business, the dad of our featured entrepreneur asked for his help. Thus, he decided to turn it into different products and came up with the best one, the ice cream. How to be you po? 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 It's another wonderful day, folks. Mary Grace here. Are you ready to be inspired? To be you, Paul. The Entrepreneur Stories. Kalidad at tapat na produkto ang kanilang ipinapangako as the brand is named after his unika iha. And he believes that degrading the quality means tainting the name of his daughter. Kaya naman, let's all get to know the story behind the success of Carmen's Best Ice Cream. Mr. Paco Magsaysay, how to be you po! So today, we are here at Real Fresh Dairy Farm here in Laguna. At kasama ko si Sir Paco and we're going to have a tour. So sir, tara po! Let's go! Sir Paco, first off, uh, I love the ambience here in the farm. Actually, pagdating ko sabi ko, wait, it's a different, no? yes, it's a different yeah. take of you know the very busy Metro Manila scene, yes. <laughs> the very busy cars and everything. Yeah. Um, but before anything else, please let us know um, small details about the business. Well, the farm started in 2007. Mm -hmm. My father and some of his friends decided to put up a dairy farm in Laguna to help stimulate uh, the economy, mm -hmm. help give employment, and uh, just uh, put a little focus in, in the province of Laguna. When was this, sir? Uh, this was in 2007, but the farm started here in 2008. So at the time uh, you started the farm, what are the basically the main products that you offer? Sa umpisa, we were just looking at selling fresh milk. Okay. So yung processing namin, uh, was in in uh, UP Los Baños mm -hmm. in the facility called D3 or Dairy Research Training Institute DTRI. Okay. So we would bring our milk to the processing of um, UP Los Baños and then we would sell the milk. Mm -hmm. But you know, after a while, uh, we felt like we needed to put up our own processing facility. So now, since we wanted to go into the uh, you guys doing the business for Carmen's best ice cream. Yes. So, paano po yun? Idali nyo po ako dun sa time na you transitioned from having a farm, doing milk, and then now you're doing the best ice cream. Ice cream, yes. <laughs> so, ang nangyari is, when my father started the dairy farm, mm -hmm. I wasn't very much um, part of the group when they first started in 2007. And in fact, I was so busy with my other work, my, my day job, okay. that uh, I wasn't able to even come to this area the first year of operation. But one day, my father came to my office and asked me for help to mm -hmm. sell the milk. Okay. Kasi nga ang daming gatas na natatapon 
Oh, kasi ang taas ng lalabas um, production. production. And then konti lang nabebenta namin. So nabubulok siya kasi we were we are and still processing at fresh milk mm -hmm. um, temperature. So it's only 7 to 10 days. Ako rin naman, sabi ko sayang naman. I mean, the cows are so expensive. They're all from New Zealand. Mm -hmm. It costs so much money to take care of the cows, to feed them. Mm -hmm. And then you're just throwing away the milk. True. Diba? So sabi ko, we have to do something with that. No? Um, so when um, the first thing that we looked at doing was, of course, initially help sell the milk first. So the first account I got was Aman Pulo Resort. Okay. And um, when they got the account, when we got the account, I was thinking to myself, if our quality is this good, I can make something with the with the fresh milk. Mm -hmm. I was already baking for my kids at that time. I would bake cookies and brownies and fudge for my Out kids. Out of passion, not a business. Out of passion. Okay. Yeah. So parang pang pasama sa baon. Ba yeah. Wow. And then um, yun. And then it was more baking, no? and uh, baking is exact. It's very different from cooking. Cooking is you make tancha, tancha, and tancha everything. or uh -oh. a pinch of this, a pinch of that. Whereas pag baking, dapat kailangan talaga ho na exact. Accurate. Oh, eh, uh -huh. ganun ako eh. Parang gusto ko lahat exact. No? So, we decided to put up a company called Carmen's Best Dairy Products. Okay. This so, was in? 2009. 2009. October of 2009, the company was called Carmen's Best Dairy Products. Because we did not know we were gonna make ice cream. Basta okay. gagawa lang kami ng product using the fresh milk. Okay. Kaya nga dairy products eh. So, wala pang specific wala pang product. anything? Oh, basta accessing the milk here and we'll make something with it para hindi masayang para hindi masayang okay. so it was uh, born out of necessity so in fact i told you earlier the first machine we bought was a cheese machine mm -hmm. so carmen's best could have easily been uh, carmen's cheese not carmen's best uh, ice cream um, but when we were making the cheese at that time parang hindi ko masyadong feel you know parang i didn't i wasn't really into it you as a person you're Me not a, a person. cheese person i'm not so much of a cheese person. Okay. So from cheese, we tried other products. Then napunta kami sa ice cream. Mm -hmm. Dun talagang dun lumabas yung creativity ko and everything. And um, the passion to work, you know, long hours and uh, a lot of sleepless nights and pushing the product, testing recipes. Uh, and since we did not know the company was gonna grow, mm -hmm. we didn't hire people. It was just me doing it. Oh ho. Kasi hindi naman namin alam na lalaki yung kumpanya eh. Wala but, naman kami mga targets or anything. Sir Paco, how to be you po? Hindi sapat para kay Sir Paco na marunong siyang gumawa ng ice cream. Knowing na hindi biro ang mga kalaban na brand sa industry, he needed to learn to make the best ice cream. So he went looking for the best school. Ako po, I'm just very curious. Um, how did you get to know the ins and outs of the business? Bilang wala kayong background when it comes to doing ice cream, ice cream yes. Well, of course. The first thing was I learned making ice cream by watching YouTube. Okay. Diba? So, um. I mean, even when I was baking, I was already learning how to bake using YouTube. Because I'm not studied in like a culinary school. Uh -oh. or I am not a pastry person. Mm -hmm. no? So, wala akong background. Because business management ang course, course back, ko back sa then. college. I was nag -M -M MBA ako. So, business talaga ako. So, when I needed to really take the ice cream business seriously, mm -hmm. I looked for the best class I could take okay. where I could learn the most okay. about ice cream production, ice cream making. And it happened to be in Penn State in the U.S. Mm. And that's where Ben and Jerry studied. So the Penn State ice cream course is where I studied in 2013. And I won the top award for the most promising ice cream maker. Wow! So how, how long people. was the, the process, kumbaga po, the learning curve before we achieve yung talagang the skill and knowledge that we wanted to have? Well, we just celebrated our eighth year, no? So, mm -hmm. we started in 2011. Okay. So, from 2011 to 2013, I was already making ice cream for two years. Mm -hmm. Doing the YouTube way. <laughs> the YouTube, the YouTube way. way, okay. Yeah. And then when I studied ice cream to, to make it the proper way, we tweaked the recipe to make it the proper way. Mm -hmm. And it just took off from there because we were doing it so good. I knew how to make it good then mm -hmm. by studying it. Eh. So we, we made it the best way ice cream can be made. Alam niyo ba na ang pinakamahal na ice cream at dessert ay ang frozen hot chocolate ice cream sundae na nagkakahalagang $25,000. In 2007, it was added to the menu of Serendipity 3 restaurant in New York, USA. Knowing their product is more on the premium side, 
Sir Paco has to make sure na ang quality and integrity ng kanilang product ay hindi mapabago, assuring that their patrons taste every penny's worth. I think the integrity of our product is very important. And when I say integrity, is when we say we make it the best way we can or we use fresh milk, we really do that. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, if I start replacing our milk with powdered milk or UHT milk, it's going to change the quality. Agree. So when people try that and they're going to say, oh, they're starting to change their quality, then we start losing customers. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to lose our customers. Alam namin na we want to take good care of them. <laughs> mahal yung product uh -huh. namin. So yung market namin is not that big. Uh -huh. diba? So kung yung small market namin, mawala pa yun, wala na kaming mapupuntahan na customers. So um, our commitment is to, to give our customers the best product we can give them and, um, and, and deliver that to them. And kayo po, as a boss or as an entrepreneur, how do you manage your people? May technique ba yan na for a short span of time, you have grown so much? Well, I think um, you have to expect from your people um, dedication, hard work, and doing what's best for the company. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to treat your people as if they're family. Diba? Kasi at the end of the day, there are times that you're not feeling well or you're down and people have to step up and help you out. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no such thing as uh, one, man is, one man is an island. No, no one is that. Uh, so I realize our success relies a lot on the people that work with us. I mean, I am just the captain of the ship, but everybody else plays a major role in getting us from point A to point B. Carmen's Best Ice Cream knows that if you take care of your employees, the employees will take care of your business. So we treat our people well. We don't have uh, mga contractual. Uh, we give them full benefits. All the benefits that they yeah. need. Because, you know, I mean, how can somebody work properly if they're worried about, you know, the health of their children or Family. the tuition or what oh, So, kailangan maganda yung trato sa tao. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then you will also attract the good people. Sir Paco, how to be you po? Since we did not know where our company was going, we bought the equipment we put in the capital as needed. Mm -hmm. Meaning, we didn't buy big equipment you know, in the early years and then we had a lot of excess capacity and parang as our company grew, as the demand grew, mm -hmm. that's when we started investing in bigger equipment. Sir, I just want to ask, bakit Carmen's Best yung pangalan? Oh, we called it Carmen's Best because that's the name of my youngest daughter. Oh, okay. My only daughter. Okay, your unika iha, basically. Unika iha, yes. I knew that the product had to be named after a woman. And um, my two other children are boys, no? okay. so we named it after Carmen. And with all the ice cream brands available in the market, um, what makes Carmen's Best different? I think the most important thing I tell people is to not go after the money. Go after what you enjoy or what you like because you will spend so much time working your business, especially the first three to five years of your business. You'll be working Friday night, Saturday, Sunday. I mean, there's no other way around it. Um, kung ang type mo is to clock in and clock out Monday to Friday, Wag na kayo mag-isip ng tayo ng sarili ng negosyo kasi you will put a lot of your time into your business. And why do I say do something you enjoy? Because if you enjoy what you're doing, it's easier for you to do it six or seven days a week. Uh, you really have to put your goal ahead of your need for getting money. Because if you put your need for getting money first, ay baka hindi tumagal yung negosyo nyo kasi matagal ang payback ng mga startup businesses. So thank you so much, Sir Paco. Maraming thank maraming so salamat. Thank you, for, thank you for sharing yeah. your story with us and to everybody. For sure, marami silang nakuwang insights and the tips from you. Thank, thank you. you. So much. Thank you. Ice cream was introduced to the Philippines during the time of American occupation. At sa mga panahon na yon, nagsimula rin ipakilala ang refrigerator and cooling devices. Pinuntahan natin si Ms. Dayan sa kanilang tahanan upang turuan tayo ng isang masarap at profitable na homemade ice cream. Perfect para sa mga gustong magsimula ng munting negosyo. Hi, I'm Dayan. I'm the owner of Sugar Bakes. I make custom cakes, sprinkles, brownies, and cookies. But today, I'm going to show you how to make an ice cream. Since mainit na at summer na, gagawa tayo ngayon na ice cream. Gagawa tayo ng dalawang flavor ng ice cream. 
isang mango graham ice cream at isang Oreo cookies and cream. For the mango graham, kailangan natin ng dalawang all-purpose cream, one can of above, dalawang condensed milk, diced mango, semi-crushed graham, and crushed graham. Para naman sa cookies and cream, kailangan natin ng semi-crushed Oreo at crushed Oreo. Para sa tatlong ingredients na to, kailangan silang chilled overnight. Para sa ating unang step, ihalo lang natin ang eba at ang condensed milk. Mix lang natin silang mabuti. Kapag fully mix na natin yung ebab at ang condensed milk, tulad nito, i-refrigerate muna natin siya tapos magwi-whisk muna tayo ng all-purpose cream. Para sa ating next step, ilagay lang natin ang dalawang all-purpose cream sa ating mixing bowl. Remember po na ang ating all-purpose cream ay dapat chilled overnight. Tapos, imimix lang po natin to sa ating mixer for 10 minutes hanggang mag-double yung size niya. Tapos, sa mga walang heavy-duty mixer, pwede rin po tayong gumamit ng hand-held mixer. Okay, after 10 minutes, kunin na natin yung ating refrigerated above and condensed mixture at idagdag na natin siya sa ating all-purpose cream. Add lang natin siya gradually, unti-unti lang. After natin malagay yung mixture, wait lang tayo ulit ng 5 minutes para ma-whip siya ulit. Okay, tapos na after 5 minutes, okay na yung mixture natin. Para sa mga walang machine, uh, pag tingin yung fully incorporated na yung mixture natin, pwede nyo na siyang itigil i-mix. Okay na ang ating ice cream mixture. Ngayon, maglalagay na tayo ng flavoring. Uh, I'll use the same mixture para sa ating dalawang flavor ng ice cream, kaya hahatiin ko lang to into two. Iway ko muna siya kung ilan para... Equal yung ating mixture for gray ham and for cookies and cream. Meron tayong 1-4 na nabuo ng mixture. Hatiin lang natin ito sa dalawa. So that's 700 for her. Unahin muna natin gawin ng ating mango gray ham. Lagay lang natin yung ating semi-crushed gray ham. Sunod ang ating dice mango. Para naman sa ating cookies and cream, lagay lang natin yung ating semi-crush Oreo. At mix din natin. Ang gagawin natin bali ay ice cream roll. So, pwede na natin tong gawing roll. Using ice bag. Una, itali lang natin tong plastic dito sa dulo para maganda yung itsura niya mamaya. Tapos maglalagay na tayo ng mixture. Ang ating isang roll ay pwedeng mga 220 to 240 grams yung mailagay natin dito. Tapos kung may matira tayong mixture, after natin gumawa ng roll, pwede rin natin siyang ilagay sa mga ice cream cup. Pipit lang natin yung process na to hanggang maubos yung mixture. Pwede rin tayong gumamit ng ice cream cup. Diba para sa mga bata na bawal ang masyadong madaming malamig. After natin matapos lahat ng mixture, lagay na natin siya sa ref overnight. And after that, pwede na natin siya i-consume kinabukasan. 
Ito na, ready na kainin ang ating ice cream. Sa mga gusto pong matuto ng ice cream at sa mga gusto rin pong matuto ng cakes at iba pang baked goodies, pwede nyo po akong kontakin sa aking number na 0917-533-0475 at saka sa aking page. Ang name ng page ko ay Sugar Bakes. Sa isang negosyo, hindi lang malaking kita ang dapat nating laging iniisip kung hindi ang assured quality of the products because maintaining the good quality and image of your brand will create customer loyalty. At sa isang negosyo, hindi mawawala ang problema. Kaya naman gawin nating inspirasyon si Sir Paco na hindi sumuko at nag-isip ng ibang diskarte upang lumago ang negosyo. Muli ako po si Mary Grace and thank you for watching How to Be You Po, The Entrepreneur Stories.